Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today it's with great pride that I get the opportunity to share with you the unboxing of a Macintosh CD player. This MCD 550 is their best single box CD player. It features uh, digital inputs to take advantage of the superb DACs that are on board and a custom built transport and CD Mac that uh, makes this product absolutely superb. It plays CD SA CD, it will upsample, it, it's, it's stunning. It's really, really awesome to see something of this quality unboxed here at Christchurch, New Zealand. So, without ado, uh, without further ado, let's have a look. Firstly, it's a big box. It's a really big box. The packaging for Macintosh is elaborate. It's designed to ensure that it comes to us in our market. Um, in one piece, really, undamaged. And something of this value to be beautifully boxed, it, it, it highlights that the manufacturers understand that anything of real value has got to be protected to ensure that it, it, you know, it arrives here in New Zealand in one piece. So, looking at this box, again, it's big. Macintosh uh, seal it with their factory tape, and on all sides there is model and serial number information and a white sticker. So on all the four corners. On the top, sealed with Macintosh tape, and at the bottom, it's stapled clothes. Uh, big secure staples in a big hard cardboard box. So the Macintosh tape means a craft knife is required right across its, right across its full length. The process is very, very straightforward. And, um, open it with ease. Like all, all of the better pieces from Macintosh, they're double boxed. So if we have a look for a moment, I'll tip this up and you'll see the CD player sitting inside some foam feet. Just pause for a moment to lift this out. Get rid of this big box, it's heavy. So from this point, the, the inner box is held in place with the foam, a closed cell foam packaging. It ensures that no matter what, I mean, short of something penetrating like a forklift through this thing, the CD player is going to be undamaged from a transit perspective. Taking these off is really easy, and it reveals the inner box, which is very simple in its design, again heavy weight, Again, sealed at one end with Macintosh's tape and model and serial number information just on the top. Opening this is really, really easy. It's actually nothing holding the top section. We just, we've just got a factory seal along the edge. So opening this very simple flap and slides to one side. The elaborate packaging doesn't stop there. There is a folded piece of cardboard that has quite an elaborate sort of series to ensure that accessories and things don't float around at the rear and that the front butts into the uh, raised edge. Drilling into it, we've got the uh, Yamaha sorry, Macintosh CD player's remote control. This is separately packed in a little bubble wrap bag. And it's um, a brand new version of their CD uh, remote. Um, along with the uh, remote control is some AAA batteries in a small bag. And a good quality, nice heavy weight New Zealand IEC power cord. Along with the power cord is the product's user manual. Now this is... It's multi-page, it's full colour, it's a very, very good quality, and it explains all manner of uh, unboxing, packing, uh, all of the parts and accessories that it comes with, how to use it, how to use the DAC, everything is explained in plain and easy to understand English. Moving from this point, shall I just pick that up so you can sort of see? Excellent, excellent as far as how it sits inside this elaborate packaging. Getting it from here is pretty straightforward. It's a simple slide. The, um, the packaging, of course, is very easy to get off at this point. Now, 
the, the CD player is sitting nestled in a large piece of cardboard, again sitting that inside the box. And if we carefully just roll that over, you'll see the base and how many holes and things are cut out specifically so that this nestles brilliantly into that packaging. I'll assume of course the number of holes this, this cardboard is used for other products as well. But there we have it. And again, it's got excellent inserts for the base lip of this product to nestle in. I'm sure it's not going to move in transit. Beautiful piece there. Yeah. Now, most Macintosh pieces uh, have a big oversized bag. So that taking it, that opening is very straightforward. Get rid of a little bit of the cello tape, and the bag starts to slip away very easily. The the product is very heavy, particularly for its um, I don't know. In its category, it's one of the heaviest CD players. From a sound quality perspective, it's actually one of the best. So lifting that box off. Lifting the bag off the product reveals a discant bag to help um, keep it in good condition in transit. Okay, so looking at the CD player for the first time, um, you'll see its build quality is superb and the characteristic aluminium side panels and things that are renowned in Macintosh's line. This is obviously styled to match all of the integrated amplifiers, preamps, and power amplifiers. Slot into a rack and look, look beautiful along with any other piece from Macintosh. The operation is basic and simple um, and very, very straightforward. Starting on this side, we've got the headphone output. It's actually an excellent headphone output and um, uh, the CD player has a variable out, which we'll talk about a little bit later, and it allows you to adjust the output for the headphones there. Above it is a simple track click. This allows for uh, skipping backwards and forwards. There's a mute button, which will mute all outputs. There's an input button because you can select both the USB, optical and coaxial digital plugs at the back as inputs to this and use its exquisite onboard DAC. Um, you've also got beside the input button the disc layer. This allows you to select, if it's an option, between the CD and SACD layer because of course this is of course an SACD player as well. The front display is two lines of dot matrix. Uh, very simple. Uh, it allows CD text and other things like that to be utilised. And Macintosh's custom made slot load CD player. Over to this side, uh, beside the level control, is a smaller um, dot matrix display. This is specifically illuminated to adjust the variable level output. Now, as I mentioned with the headphone outs, this allows um, the level of the headphone to be adjusted from the front of the CD player alone. It also allows for the adjustment via the um, variable outputs. The CD player, and we'll hang around for the photographs and you'll see what I mean. The CD player has both RCA and balanced outputs, both fixed and variable. And if you plug it into the variable, this will allow you to adjust the volume. Perhaps reducing the need for a preamp, although it will always sound better with a Macintosh preamp. Below the level control, is a very simple operation that you would expect from all CD players. You've got a stop button, a play pause, and an open and close. Um, beside it, in red, is your standby or on and off button. Okay. Leaning it forward, you get to see the depth of this product. It's beautifully appointed. Again, very heavy and very, very well built. Spinning it around, again the depth. And looking at the rear, we get to know and understand the inputs and outputs that Macintosh have added to this product to make it a great feature set and also a great quality point. Starting from this side, we've got a traditional um, IEC power input. Very straightforward, obviously matches up with the IEC power cord that's over there. We've got a couple of uh, warnings relating to the laser on board and other things like that. Um, model, serial number and date of manufacturing. There's some control here. All Macintosh uh, pieces are controlled via a data or serial connection so that one remote control can operate any number of different products. So your remote for the preamp, you've got a play stop pause button which will operate this. And it's via the control and inputs here. You'll see that it's separated into a power control which turns it on and off and data which of course is your infrared control. Um, serial number and Macintosh screen printing and further along we see the first section 
for the outputs. These are both RCA or um, unbalanced and balanced variable outputs. So that variation is via the volume at the front. You've got the fixed outputs, which I guess is the most common way you'd utilize this. And again, this is a separate circuit for both single-ended RCA and balanced outputs. It's the bottom section that is um, actually uh, a separate sort of chassis inside is the digital inputs and the digital outputs. So if we look at this side for a moment, we've got both the optical and coaxial digital outputs. This is if you're using this as a transport or perhaps splitting it off to do something into a separate system you might own. Um, along from that are the digital inputs. This is allowing the unit to use its onboard DAC, as I explained, and it has an optical, coaxial and USB asynchronous input. Very, very straightforward to use, very straightforward to get the most out of there as well. Okay, there we go. This beautiful Macintosh MCD 550, their best single box CD player, unbox here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.